Welcome to part 5 of the final full assembly, the final video for this series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to attach the cran poles onto the main platforms as a barrier to prevent kids from falling off. To start, you're going to want to open from your H drive and find your assembly that you've created so far. You're going to need to put in a minimum of 13 crayons. You're more than welcome to put more than that, but we need a minimum of 13. We have five of them, or six of them up top. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a little hidden one, seven of them on the main platform. We're going to go to the full assembly. We're going to say place the cran pole. You could do this one at a time. You could put a cran pole, attach it. I'm going to put all 13 in right away. So one, six, and seven makes 13. And then I can hit escape to drop my tool. So if we need seven of them on the main platform and six of them on the tri-platform, we can do them in little chunks together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain, and I'm actually going to mate the bottom, so not that, but the bottom of a crayon to the top of the main platform and apply. You could do it in the reverse order too. You can do then the top of the main platform to the bottom of the crayon and apply. Bottom of the crayon to the top of the main platform, apply. Top of the main platform to the bottom of the crayon. You're getting the idea. Let me slide through these. Alright, now I have seven crayons on my main platform. Now we want to put them towards the edges. So we can come to constraint. We're going to be using the tangent constraint. So if we click on the outside of a crayon, and the outside edge of a platform, Right now it's going to hang off the edge, which is why we need to use the inside. So you have outside and inside. We want it to be on the inside and apply. Now for the corner ones, we actually want it to be tangent or touching both of the edges. So then I could do the crayon to this edge and apply, and that one is stuck in place. Let's do that again. Tangent from the crayon to the edge and apply. Tangent from the crayon to the edge and apply. From the crayon to the edge and apply. From the crayon to the edge and apply. I'll grab that crayon and make it to this edge as well. I'll grab a crayon to the edge here. Again, these are all tangents. And finally, we'll put a crayon to the edge here. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to move these crayons. I'll hit escape and drop all my tools. We're going to move these crayons where we want them to be. So I'm going to try and center a few of these. Nice part about this is it is stuck to that edge and stuck to the main platform. So I can move it any which way and it's only going to slide back and forth. Finally, awesome. Next, we can put the crayons on the tri platform. Constrain, we're going to use the mate again. We're going to mate 
the bottom of a crayon to the top of the tri-platform. Apply. From the platform to the crayon. Apply. From the crayon bottom to the platform. Apply. Platform to crayon bottom. Apply. Crayon bottom to platform. And then apply. And finally, platform to crayon bottom. We're going to use the tangent again. Constrain, tangent, inside. So we're going to put that crayon to the edge, apply it, that crayon to this edge, apply it. Let's put a crayon on this corner. What else do we have? One, two, three, four of them spaced out equally there. Apply tangent to the edge, apply tangent to the edge, apply tangent to the edge, apply. And if you'd like this to be stuck in this corner right here, the opposite, I can go to outside and I can make that crayon be tangent to the outside of the back of the climbing wall. I can cancel and then we're just going to move these crayons a little bit. Let's put one in the middle, one over. Those look pretty good. Now, besides the corner ones, the corner ones will not move. Every other one could move. So we're actually going to ground every single crayon pull now. To do that, you're going to select the first crayon pull in your browser bar. If I tried to select another one, it would just auto switch to that crayon pull. So we're going to grab the first one and hold the shift key and select the last one and it'll select everything in between. We can right click, make them grounded, and now none of these can move. There is the Butler Inventor Playground. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you learned a few things about Inventor. I hope this expands your possibilities of what you could do with it. And I look forward to seeing the creations you guys come up with in the future. As always, feel free to come back to Butler and show me what you've done on Inventor in the future. Have a great day. I hope all these videos help.